Fire. An electromagnetic rail gun is a gun that uses just electricity, no gunpowder, and oh, by the way, can shoot a projectile like this well over 100 miles at Mach 7. Seven times the speed of sound. Seven times the speed of sound. Rear Admiral Matthew Plunder is the chief of naval research which developed the rail gun. Okay. If something can shoot a target 100 miles away without accounting for curvature or the Coriolis effect, that kind of puts to question the globe model. The horizon let's, let's always rises to eye level. You've got the Felis Bautenberg Red Bull skydive with the New Mexico covering the whole globe, no ocean at all. Even that image and video, and the camera slightly above him, and guess what? So is the horizon. It does not impart uh, significant barrel distortion. Significant. Yeah, every every lens. Yeah, every lens. Some so, distortion. So, so there, there is some distortion. Yes, and, and just and like on the Virgin Galactic, we saw it going from concave to convex. So, yeah, there's a lot of yeah. uh, now, fishy now, stuff out there. Yes. And we ask people to test things yeah, and yeah. compare okay. evidence. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm nearly finished. We ask people to compare evidence. I even offered money for people to prove me wrong with evidence. Yeah. Let me just say this before I go. I've got a video on Benidorm Beach where I'm looking underneath the cable ski platform, which is okay. 50 centimeters off the sea level. Cool. And I'm looking underneath the platform at streetlights 20 miles away. This okay. is on many of my videos on my YouTube right. channel. And, and, Everyone that and comes did to you Benidorm measure, Beach, did you measure the lapse oh, rate, Howard? Did you measure, did you measure, me. did you measure me. the lapse rate? Excuse me, Michael, before you ask me a question, let me finish telling you about I, I, it. Oh, I, everybody I that can't tell Michael, when you're done. It just keeps going. Everybody that goes to Benidorm can see San Juan Beach 20 miles away. They can see it in the daytime. They can see the streetlights along the beachfront at nighttime. Nobody's been able to prove me wrong in three years that I offered 10 grand. My mate's now offering 50 grand. You want to keep deflecting? Man Apple says, MC Tune is amazing. Howard, when flurs are corrected and conceded by changing to topic, do they then have to be corrected again in other debates? Why? Michael, I can see the streetlights 20 miles okay. away. That means that there's not even eight meters curvature. How much curvature should, should, how much should be lost over that distance, Michael? You're so good at math. Please tell me, what 20 miles. The, what is the lapse rate? Lapse rate? Yes, the vertical change in temperature. Did you Did you capture the vertical change in temperature? If you did not, that's fine. And we can estimate the lapse rate. Yeah, please let's okay. estimate and, it. And because somewhere, I've done so, it in winter yes. and I've done it in summer. So yes. it doesn't give different results no matter what the temperature is. Where I'm yeah, taking it's it. not the temperature. Please, it's the change please. in temperature. The okay, rate please, of do change of temperature. Please, do, please do estimate that for me, Michael. Okay. Because so uh, my I would prime estimate that the coefficient of refraction Due to the lapse rate, I would say the lapse rate could be as much as one degree Celsius per 10 meters. Wow. Okay. Could be. And if could the be, if, if the lapse rate is one degree change over a 10 meter vertical, then the coefficient of refraction is 1.0, which curves the radius of the arc of light at the same as the previously measured radius of the Earth. So you can see indefinitely far if the lapse rate is one degree over 10 meters vertical. So please do inform me, how much landscape would you expect to be hidden over 20 miles when observing at water level with your estimated... All of it. That's very convenient, isn't it, Michael? So, you know this lapse rate that you're talking about? Wouldn't it cause distortion? You're talking about an optical illusion. You're saying that what we're really seeing, we're not really seeing, it's the light bending around the curve. It's yeah? light bending, yes, absolutely. Right. Light is so known to bend. Point. So here's my These point. These glasses Let's... show that that happens. Great, Michael. Here's my point again. Can you show me that light can bend around a curve without any distortion? No the, matter the distance, well, I, no, I matter where I, the, no matter there, where there the there will light, be there will be vertical just, compression. Just, you would expect just, vertical compression. You would expect, but you don't see. Oh well, I any will. Vertical. I will have to look at your channel. 
So in all fairness, Michael, your evidence is quite weak. Our evidence is what we see. We're not asking anyone to believe different than what we all see, what our cameras all can zoom in on. <laughs> we're, we're all saying, look at the official evidence, look at the strings, look at the bubbles, look at the bloody horizon at eye level, no matter what footage you look at, look at the convex concave change from the galactic the other day. It's ridiculous. We're not convinced. We're asking for better evidence. And all you've done is deflect and try and make me look silly for being a bit dyslexic. I'm not impressed. People like you just go on with explanations, calculations, definitions and belittling and derogatory comments. So please um, try harder. Well, try harder. 